Hello everyone, today is a quick video on glycopeptide antibiotics. Now, glycopeptide antibiotics include vancomycin, ticoplanin and telavancin. In India, we use vancomycin and ticoplanin and ticoplanin is not available in US. So, instead of ticoplanin, telavancin is available in US and telavancin is not available in India. Now, glycopeptide antibiotics are really very important drugs. They are narrow spectrum, they have activity against gram-positive bacteria infections and they belong to a reserved class of antibiotics and really used for serious infections in WHO aware classification of antibiotics this particular group of antibiotics come under watch group so this drug is really monitored in antimicrobial stewardship programs mechanism of action now glycopeptide antibiotics inhibit cell wall synthesis so it can penetrate into gram positive bacterial cell wall so we know cell wall is made up of peptidoglycan layer and peptidoglycan consists of sugar and amino acid component so in the sugar component we have n acetyl muramic acid and n acetyl glucosamine so what happens is glycopeptides bind to the d alanyl d alanine formation that is present in the synthesis of these sugars which is involved in the peptidoglycan layer so this will compromise the cell wall in integrity and destroy the bacteria indications so since these are reserved category of antibiotics they are used for severe skin and soft tissue infections blood infections endocarditis meningitis caused by methicillin resistant staph aureus bone and joint infections used in hospital acquired ventilator associated pneumonias and it's used in enterocolitis and close stream difficile infections now vancomycin capsules are category b in pregnancy pregnancy it's safe to use but iv infusions are not recommended in pregnancy now for lactating mothers glycopeptide antibiotics are safe now in elderly and renal patients dose adjustments are required adverse drug reactions so glycopeptides when given as IV infusions it can cause thrombophlebitis at injection site then glycopeptides can cause redman syndrome particularly vancomycin can cause hypotension bone marrow suppression hypersensitivity reactions there is a risk of autotoxicity which is reversible and it can there is also a risk of nephrotoxicity but this is rare now particularly the proximal convoluted tube is affected and it can also cause acute interstitial nephritis and this is usually seen in high dose iv infusions and this risk really increases if these drugs are given along with gendamycin furosemide and cyclosporin it can cause bone marrow suppression so this can result in neutropenia and thrombocytopenia now redman syndrome is like a reaction that occur from rapid infusion leading to upper body flushing and rashes and other symptoms so this is usually seen in vancomycin now glycopeptides are usually given as iv infusions cause they have minimal oral absorptions and they are large hydrophilic molecules so they cannot penetrate into lipid membrane but there is an exception vancomycin can be given orally in pseudomembranous colitis this was a very quick video on glycopeptide antibiotics it's just to brush up your memory about this drug I hope this video was informative share it with your friends so what are you waiting for subscribe to my channel thanks for watching have a nice day ahead